This is Jeff Perlman, founder and CEO of Zojo. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an Android emulator in Android Studio that you can use to test out the Android apps you build in Zojo. Now I'm gonna show you this on a Mac, but the experience would be identical on Windows or Linux. You'll need a project in Android Studio once you've launched it. So if you have an existing one, you can open that or go ahead and click new project. And you can just pick the default project type, hit next and then finish. And once your project loads, you're going to want to go to the Tools menu and choose Device Manager. Now that's going to bring up this list over on the right that shows all of the emulators that you've created. I don't have any right now, so my list is blank. Go ahead and click Create Device, and that brings up this uh, configuration window. First, you're going to pick a category of device, um, tablets, desktop, etc. Uh, phone is selected by default, and it shows you lots of different phones as you can see. Now we recommend that you pick a phone that has an icon in the Play Store column because that'll be compatible with the Play Store. So I'll go ahead and click Pixel 4. You can also see some information about that phone here. And then click Next. It'll automatically select the operating system image that it needs. Uh, just make sure it's at least Android 8 or above. Chances are they'll all be that, so that shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and just click Next. And here you can rename it if you'd like. Um, you can indicate things like the startup orientation, etc. And if you're going to be building a lot of apps, then you might want to go to Show Advanced Settings, scroll down until you see Internal Storage. This is only 2 gigs. Uh, you may want to up that a bit if you're going to be building lots of apps because it's going to fill up pretty quick. But if you're only building one app at a time, then probably the default settings fine. Uh, last but not least, click Finish. And once you've done that, it'll show up here in the list and you're ready to start using it in Zojo. Now make sure you quit out of Android Studio before you switch over to Zojo because you can't be using the emulator in Zojo while Android Studio is running. So if you go over to the navigator under Build Settings, click on Android, you'll see that there's a section of the inspector that says Android Debugging and it has a debug device. It will automatically select the um, emulator if you only have one. If you have several, then they'll be listed here, but otherwise it's going to just go ahead and select that one for you. And then you're ready to rock and roll. So just press Run, and it's going to compile your app and launch it in the emulator. Now the first time you use an emulator, it takes a while for it to start up, so if this seems to be taking too long, don't worry about that. It just takes quite a while for Android Studio to launch an emulator the very first time. Also, we've found that in testing that these emulators sometimes can go bad. Uh, they just stop working. And if that happens to you, just go back to Android Studio, find the device manager from the tools menu, and go ahead and just delete the emulator you created, and then uh, recreate the emulator and start over, and you should be just fine at that point. All right, so we've launched the emulator now, and it's getting ready. And there's our app. We're ready to go. So that's it. Don't forget that Zojo also supports on-device debugging as well. Thanks for watching.